It's a medium-sized law enforcement agency that's recently found itself entangled in a number of high-profile incidents, and we're talking about via transit police. And tonight, their chief is pushing back on criticism that his department operates under a veil of secrecy and refuses to adopt reforms. Even as members of the Transit Authority's own board say that more should be done to educate the public about its law enforcement role. Our Dylan Collier jumping into the debate in this Defenders report. <laughs> I can't breathe. Eric Garner said those words 11 times before finally dying on this Staten Island sidewalk, a victim of a New York Police Department chokehold. The resulting outrage leading to protests and years later, New York criminalizing the use of chokeholds by police officers. Trust between law enforcement and the community has been broken for a long time. Ananda Thomas, head of the Public Safety Reform Group Act for SA, points out that via Metropolitan Transit Police still allow chokeholds in deadly force situations. The San Antonio Police Department, by comparison, has outright banned the sometimes deadly technique. But there's another issue here, transparency. For example, SAPD has many of its policies and procedures online. The via Police Department, meanwhile, barely has a web presence at all. And policing is constantly evolving and we need to know that your policies and practices and trainings are updating with society. For example, despite the national concern about shootings by police officers and via PD specifically being enmeshed in several notable encounters with the public the past 13 months, including a shooting by its officers on a bus last year that resulted in an in-custody death of a man with a gun, the department still has no policy on releasing critical incident video. The defenders the past year have repeatedly asked VIA for footage of significant incidents involving their officers or the transit authority's property and have been repeatedly denied after attorneys for VIA asked the Texas Attorney General to intercede. Well, I, I have to be honest with you. I don't agree with the uh, assertion that we're not transparent. Mark Witherell, VIA's chief of police and system security, says that as far as outright banning chokeholds or releasing critical incident video, it isn't in the cards. The department doesn't have a plan to create or change any future policies without the need to change them or without the direction from our accrediting, our accrediting body or our, our governing body. He also says his 60-person department handled 28,000 calls last year and that officers from its accredited agency are trained above and beyond minimum state standards. However, at least one former VIA bus driver says improvements are needed. I mean, I feel like they use intimidation tactics. Antonio Padron says he loved working as a driver. But Padron's observations of VIA police, officers in charge of protecting the transit system's riders, employees, and properties, are far from positive. They're very demeaning, and also I feel like they don't want to deal with a lot of the situations that they, that they handle. He says it was one reason he left his job and the agency earlier this year. With the way that the work culture is right now, I don't see myself going back. As for Thomas, last month her group published a list of recommended reforms for VIA police that she also hopes will help improve other law enforcement entities around San Antonio. VIA officials were quick to sit down with Thomas and other members of her organization and while she described the meeting as a positive, free-flowing conversation. Really, at the end of the day, it was, we're going to review uh, what you, the community, have brought forth, and we will get back to you. What we want to know is that you have nothing to hide and you're willing to be transparent to us. For the Defenders, Dylan Collier, KSAT 12 News. Now, there is one reform that VIA police appear to be on board with, publishing some of their operating procedures online. Chief Witherell says that VIA currently doesn't have the technology to do that, but two technology contracts out for bid could soon change that. In the meantime, we've posted their police procedures released to us on our website at ksat.com.